Hey viewers, what's up? How has been the week treating you? I hope you had a great one. Thank you for stopping by and tuning on in. This is Shweta and you are watching me on MySpace Mom Through Lens. This video is going to be very short and crisp as I am planning to take you through the journey of how I am organizing my kitchen. I thought it would be a great idea if I also share the design process with you guys. So yes, let's get started without wasting much time in chit chatting. The size of the kitchen is uh, 11 feet by 9 feet and as you can see it's an open plan kitchen. The challenge was to keep the kitchen always presentable and clean as it was right in front of my living room. We somehow liked the openness as it made the space look much bigger so we brainstormed and reached with the conclusion of having a partial partition. This led me to build the unit uh, which uh, served the purpose of a puja unit and also it blocked at least the cooking area. Another structural change was designing on the layout of the kitchen. The builder had provided us with a U-shaped kitchen which I worked out and made it to a L shape keeping two things in mind as our requirement was parcel partition and we wanted a perfect space for puja unit. We also changed the electrical positions and the hob and freezer position. The freezer was brought to the extreme corner of the side and uh, the sink was moved to the freezer position. I also changed the place of the hob because it was facing towards south and it's not auspicious to cook facing south. Coming to the storage uh, cabinets, to extreme right I have an open space under the sink area which has an inbuilt dustbin and vents for the air circulation. Next to it, I have a single door cabinet with two shelves. Open shelves actually adds depth and gives character to your space. I have kept my tea and sugar in these airtight tins and this reduces the clutter on my worktop. Just below that, I have a closed cabinet which holds my kitchen appliances and less used kitchen tools. Besides it, under the hob, I have used three tandem boxes. The top one holds the cutlery, the middle one holds the daily used crockery, and the bottom one with a deep box holds a ton of dabbas uh, that holds my extra groceries. Moving to the next, I have a 6 inch bottle pull out unit that holds my spices and pickle jars. These are the 4 modular units that I have installed in my kitchen. Rest of my kitchen just has cells because I feel it more convenient to store in that way. Next, I have the space which has deep units with cells to hold my cooking essentials like pots and pans. Deep corners have the less accessed stuffs. And next to it, I have a tall unit. It is the most accessible part of my kitchen. And the extreme corner has the freezer. Coming to the top cabinets, I have combined my open and closed cells to break down the cluttery look. This space has uh, three doors with a single cell and uh, all my cabinets have soft closed hinges. Now this side I have uh, two lift up uh, units. I love having open cells in my space as uh, it gives me the freedom to style as well as it makes the space more presentable. And to this end I have my water purifier. That's all from this kitchen. It's a small one but I have made sure it is aesthetically pleasing and a functional one. Thanks for watching. If you want any help regarding designing let me know in my comment box. I will be happy to help you out. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing and liking my videos. Meet you soon in my next video where I will be taking you through the journey on how I organized my kitchen. Till then, stay safe. Bye-bye.